Everybody pants now, pants, 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 pants. She's had enough. Pants, Call pants, it off. That's not how it works. Pants. She's out. Wait, I'm subbing in. April, no. That stuff will melt the shell off a garden snail. Whatever. I'm Puerto Rican. I can handle it. Okay, this ends now. Yeah. Mom, you're going back to the farm. And you, hmm. you're going back to hell. Fine. I got what I came for anyway. I found your underground safe. I stole half your gold. That's decoy gold. You think I'd leave my gold in a locked safe buried underground where anyone could find it? You don't know me at all. Yes, I do. I knew you. The minute you were born, I intend to be there the minute you die. Ron, your family's weird. Ugh. Ready to go? Yes. Your keys, please. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'm fine. Well, we'll let the chart be the judge of that. What are you, 5'11? 210 pounds, three whiskeys. It looks like you're just over the line into impaired. You carry that with you all the time? It comes in handy. And on the back, it teaches you how to play blackjack. Swansons have a preternaturally high tolerance for alcohol. My old man used to put wild turkey on his cornflakes. I'm not going to argue with you, Ron. We're just going to sit and wait until, you know, you're safe to drive, which would be in about one hour. Insurance is a side bet when you wager half of your original bet because you believe the dealer has a 10 in the hole. Get off my car, woman! 20 minutes! The dealer really has an advantage. That's what I get the most from this. Hey, Ron. Morning, Leslie. Did you have a good night? I did. I watched a really good document. What is that? This is what I did last night. After I got home, I drank six more glasses of whiskey, and then I finished crafting this small harp using a bandsaw, a spoke shave, and an oscillating spindle sander. Beautiful. But wait, there's more. Here are some photographs of me drinking the whiskey. You'll notice I'm holding up yesterday's newspaper so you can tell that I'm not lying. Mm, I feel like I'm in a spa. And the winner is Ron Swanson for chair. <laughs> This award is the only one I'd ever give a damn about. I made my first chair when I was five, but the quality of the wood was wanting, so when I turned nine, I used my factory wages to purchase some beautiful local walnut. Uh, thank you. For this, uh, this all good, night good. Uh, there it is. Is this a hunting game? Yeah, it's fine. You want to play? Indeed, I do. If you'd like, I could offer you some pointers. Hunting, Donna, is about silence, balance, and patience. Get ready. Hey, you know you're supposed to hit the deer, right? Ugh. Get it together, Swanson. Well, the game is absurd. And this gun is lightweight, there's no sight, and we are far too close to these deer. Would they not smell us? I want my money back. How do I get my quarters? Oh, my god, you are such a sore loser. I am not a sore loser. It's just that I prefer to win, and when I don't, I get furious. Employee! OK, let's begin the barbecue. Oh, hey, little guy. What are you doing? Oh, no. Everyone? Meet your meat. No. 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 Why are you doing this to us? Well, in my opinion, not enough people have looked their dinner in the eyes and considered the circle of life. This is your dinner. His name is Tom. Ha, ha, ha. Burr. 
burn. Seriously? No, I understand that it's hilarious, but that is his given Christian name. Tom is very smart and incredibly loyal. He's basically a dog. A dog we're going to cook, chew, and swallow. Dude, there's kids around here. Good point. Which one of you youngsters wants to help me drain the blood from this animal? If you do a good job, I'll give you the bladder. You can blow it up for a fun play ball. Hey, Ron, you're not gonna slaughter that pig here, are you? Not to worry. I have a permit. This just says I can do what I want. I am the director of the parks department, and this is a park. It's not a parks thing. It's against like three laws and a dozen health codes. Fine. Barbecue is postponed until I can go pick up some meat from the food and stuff. Let's go, Tom. No, Pig Tom. <laughs> we have a wonderfully small number of clues. One is this ticket. Did you see this movie about vampires and such? New Moon? Yeah, I saw it with April. She was so hopped up on painkillers from getting her wisdom teeth out, I convinced her to see it with me. The teeth, they're yours. You were super out of it. You kept yelling, Team Voldemort, at the screen, and we were kicked out. I was furious. You only get to see the second Twilight film for the seventh time once. Do you remember anything about a key or April doing anything unusual that day? She did make a stop by the shoe shine stand before we left because she wanted to drop something off for Andy. She had a real bad crush on him. Oh, babe, you had a crush on me. That's embarrassing. We're married. Still. To the shoe shine stand. Ooh, me. I just want to get the work over as soon as possible so I can do some fishing. Fishing relaxes me. It's like yoga, except I still get to kill something. I mean, yes, my daughter might think she is old enough to be sexually active with her boyfriend, but I'm sorry, 16, that, that just seems too young to be on birth control. You know, I was 24 when Gail took my virginity. What say we just stand here? in silence and think of ideas for projects. You know what I should do? I should lead a teen abstinence workshop. That might be incredibly effective. Evening, gentlemen. Oh, hey, Ron. Hail Zorp. It is a beautiful night for the end of the world. Congratulations to all of you for reaching the finish line. The Zorpies are ridiculous, but like the Founding Fathers, I believe in absolute freedom of religion. Also, their ceremonies require the playing of flutes. I happen to make flutes in my wood shop. Flutes are $80 a piece, and recorders are $150. Hey, they're beautiful. Would you take a check? You can cash it to tomorrow. Sure. <laughs> That was Symphony for the Righteous Destruction of Humanity in E Minor by the late Lou Prozodovich. Reminder, these flutes are available for purchase. You can't take it with you, people. Put your hands together for the one, the only, my man, Mr. Duke Silver. A mighty fine holiday evening to you all. It might be cold outside, but it's about to get warm all up in my jazz. <laughs> I, of course, am Duke Silver, and I would like to dedicate this first song to my duchess. You're so lucky. I'm going to kill you. 